Hi everyone, this is Roque Lopez. I'm going to present our work Alpha Nitrium, an open source AutoML library for multiple machine learning tasks. Automated machine learning has emerged as an alternative to automatically synthesize machine learning pipelines, thereby democratizing machine learning techniques to non experts as well as increasing the productivity of data scientists. Most end-to-end -end systems are designed to work with tabular data and only supports classification and regression problems. In this paper, we present Alpha D3M, an open source automated library that supports a wide range of data and problem times. As you can see in the table, in total, it supports 17 machine learning tasks and six different data types. A key challenge involved in supporting multiple machine learning tasks and data types is the explosion in the size of the search space. With more than 300 primitives and over 1,000 hyperparameters in the DTN ecosystem, the search space becomes so large. Also, automated systems should support usability and integration with other tasks in the data science lifecycle, from data exploration to model deployment. Alpha D3N introduces new techniques to effectively navigate the large search space and through its API, it allows the user to explore the input data and the derived machine learning pipelines. The figure shows an overview of this library and its components. To build machine learning pipelines, Alpha D3M uses a rich set of primitive and a meta-learning database from the D3N ecosystem. The pipeline search is conducted by four modules, automatic construction of task-based grammars, prioritization of primitive, pipeline synthesis using Monte Carlo tree search and neural networks, and hyperparameter tuning. The library implements a Python API through which user can define the problem to be solved, explore the input data, obtain model summaries, analyze and compare the produced pipelines. Let's see each component. In the first module, Alpha D3N uses the strategy introduced by Drury et al. to synthesize the machine learning pipelines. It is based on a single player game technique inspired by Alpha Zero. It applies model based reinforcement learning with a neural network sequence model and a Monte Carlo tree search. An important benefit of this strategy is that it learns to synthesize pipelines. The second module is automatic generation of task-based context-free grammar via meta-learning. Manually designed context-free grammar have many limitations. Notably, they may not cover all applicable rules and pipelines structures. Furthermore, to create the production rules or patterns in the grammar, a user needs to have knowledge of all the available primitives for specific tasks and how they work. For large collection of primitives, this is a difficult task. Instead of relying on manually created context-free grammars, we propose a new strategy that uses meta-learning over the Marvin database to automatically create grammars on the fly. It does so in two steps. First, it selects task-specific pipelines and datasets, and second, it uses this to create a portfolio of pipelines patterns. Since Alpha D3 supports different tasks, we need to retrieve from Marvin the pipelines produced for tasks and datasets similar to the ones we provide as inputs to the automated system. We use the task keyword tag list provided in the problem definition as features that describe the problem or task to be solved and search in Marvin for pipelines that contain similar set of keywords. After selecting similar datasets, the next step is to take the best pipelines to create a portfolio of pipelines patterns. To scale the performance measures, Alpha D3M uses a strategy based on the average distance to the minimum which transforms the performance to the distance to the best observed performance scaled between 0 and 1. In real-world scenarios, when a data scientist builds a machine learning pipeline, 
They start this process using primitives that are known to perform well. For example, XGBoost or Random Forest are good initial candidates for classification tasks. Alpha D3Ms uses this intuition to identify good candidates primitives for a specific tasks using the data from Marvin. Incorporating this prior knowledge about promising primitives could help to find better pipelines. Alpha D3Ms uses Pearson correlation to estimate how much a primitive contributes to the score of a pipeline. To prioritize the usage of potential primitive in alpha D3M, it includes these values of primitive importance in the Monte Carlo tree search formula. While SonautoML's tree the task of building pipeline as a combined algorithm selection and hyperparameter optimization problem, alpha D3M performs hyperparameter tuning as an independent task. Alpha D3N synthesizes and evaluates the pipelines using primitives with default values for the hyperparameters. The pipelines are then run by performance and the top K pipelines are selected for tuning. Alpha D3M uses SMAC, a Python library for Bayesian optimization. Alpha D3N is implemented in Python and can be used via pip installation or Docker. The API supports the building and exploration of machine learning pipelines within a Jupyter Notebook environment. With a few lines of code, users can synthesize end-to-end -end machine learning pipelines. This API allows users to define a problem, explore summaries of the input dataset, get model summaries, and analyze and compare models with respect to their performance score and prediction outputs. Let's see how it works. It is very simple to use Alpha D3M. You just need to import the class AutoML and then create an object of this class. Alpha D3M offers different utilities. For instance, if you want to see a summary of your dataset, you just need to call the method plot summary dataset and you will get this overview of your data. To perform the search, you need to specify some parameters like the time bound, the target column, and the list of keywords that will define the problem that you want to solve. In this case, we treat this problem as a classification. After the search is done, we can explore the results using Pipeline Profiler. Pipeline Profiler is a visual interactive tool that is already integrated with Alpha D3M. Here we have all the pipelines and their performance obtained during the search. As we can see, we get very good results, around 0.9. One of the main advantages of Alpha D3M is that it supports multiple machine learning tasks. So, if we have unlabeled data, we can treat this problem as a semi-supervised classification. It is very easy to do that. We just need to add the keyword semi-supervised to the list. Here we have the results using the semi-supervised approach. Now we get a better performance, around 0.95. Let's compare both approaches in a single visualization. We can compare the best pipeline of the classification and semi-supervised classification. Using the graph representation, we can analyze the difference between these pipelines to get insights about their performance. This is how data scientists can use Alpha D3N to generate and improve machine learning pipelines. We compare Alpha D3N with the state of the art automated systems using two datasets collections, D3N and OpenML datasets. The table shows the coverage of the system for each machine learning task. Alpha D3N was able to solve 17 out of 17 unit tasks, obtaining the best coverage. We also evaluate the effectiveness of Alpha D3N. As we can see, Alpha D3N had the best overall performance, producing the best pipeline for 49 datasets with the best average run, 2.85. Even though Alpha D3N is inspired by the work of Drury et al. in the table, we can clearly see the difference between them. We compare our system with AutoWeka, AutoSankiLearn, Tipot, H2O, and AutoGlone. 
The figure shows the normalized scores, normalized by the best score of all the system. As we can see, it shows that alpha detrien produce pipelines whose performance is on par with other automated system. So, in conclusion, we introduce alpha DTM, an automated library that automatically synthesizes end-to-end -end pipelines for 17 machine learning tasks and six different data types. Alpha DTM introduces new methods to automatically create grammars and prioritize primitives, which are essential for effectively managing the search space. Feel free to try it out. It is available in PyPy and there is more information in our public repository and read the docs. Thank you.